everyone, welcome back to another episode. We're so excited to get on the road. We've hired a car and just showing you guys a little bit of behind the scenes of what it's like traveling with the five of us in a car, all our luggage. We're going on a bit of a road trip around Malaysia. So we are currently in um, KL and we're slowly gonna make our way down south to um, JB and then go across to Singapore. But anyway, we're heading up first of all to the Genting Highlands and trying to road trip with all this luggage it's become a bit of a jigsaw puzzle. I just skipped gym day on um, packing day because like each one of these bags weighs, I think they're what, 28 kilos, 25, 28 oh, kilos. Yeah. And then like playing Tetris in and out, in and out. We're going to get this in. But you hold this in. National lampoons. <laughs> now that's how you pack a car. That is perfection. That's like perfect. So you gotta play Tetris. Alright, let's roll! Smiley. <laughs> Trying to get that leaf. You got it. <laughs> you flicked the rocket left. subject to donations or anything um, these guys are all volunteers they're obviously all rescue elephants we did notice one was missing a tail we later found out that it's because he got attacked by a tiger so they're obviously in here getting treatment and everything and what they have trained them to do is things like lift up their legs to get their injections so it's all just such for a good cause and it's really cool a little baby elephant bye 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 bye. Bye bye. bye, -bye. Oh, that's what you did to that other lady. And that's what we all did. You film that? <laughs> <laughs> I got slapped by an elephant. <laughs> oh, trying to climb the fence. Oh my god. Oh my god, this naughty boy. Get down. Naughty boy.
day one in the Gentic Highlands. It's actually pretty cold. We might just have to uh, have a get the jumpers out. We're 1,800 metres above sea level. So pretty high, halfway up to what Fancy Pan was. And we're at the Chin Sui Temples. It's a Buddhist temple. Apparently this is one of the main attractions here for the Gentic Highlands. So we'll see what it's about. We'll show you around. Look, you can do more with it. Day two in Genting Highlands, and we're at this mall. We're doing Sky Chocolates indoor theme park. your tickets here you've actually got to go to like these vending machines and you buy your tickets credit cards select how many and kids and adults and whatever and they print out your wristbands City that we're about to explore. This is Malacca. Now we've actually been here for a few days but we just thought we can't really show you anything. There's not much to do for a family during the day. It's too hot. It's just traditional Malaysia. Everything's too hot but does this place come alive at night? So we'll show you what this place is about at night. Hey everyone. Hey everyone. Hey everyone. Hey everyone. Hey everyone. Hey everyone. We're at Jonka Street Walks. This is Malacca's most iconic street. We've come here to do all their street food and discuss at the markets and stuff and we're so excited so come on through and we'll go have a look we just found some satay jellyfish skewers on the street so it's only two ringgits and 50 cents so let's give them a try you gonna try it? uh you gonna try it? no it's not a thing let me just start off by saying I'm a little concerned that my kids are eating jellyfish out of a packet. Satay jellyfish. Alright, let's try it. Yeah, pretty good. What's it taste like? It's like a chewy sardine, really salty, but it's good. It's like sweet and salty. It's good. Let's do it. Seaweed? What do you reckon? Oh. It's just like a salty sauce. 
sardine. A little kick to it at the end, but it's a salty sardine. Do you like say jellyfish? Sartay jellyfish. <laughs> right, it's my go. I really don't want to do this, but when in Malaysia and the kids have done it, I can't let them out the show them, right? Tastes like a caramel satay salted fish Good. with a bit of cardboard, but no. Oh, no. No. I'll happily let the kids out show me because I am not eating that. I need some water. <laughs> Close your mouth. One ball, one ball, one ball, like this <laughs> one ball, 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 Which one? Oh, it just falls apart. Yeah. It's like a snake lolly and fairy flops together. It's like a starburst. Oh my god. Oh my god. Mm -mm. Yeah. Mm -mm. You don't like it? Oh no. <laughs> coconut shakes from but this is the one that is like the original and the best so it's nothing flash it's on the side of the road so we're gonna go check it out and we'll see how we go we've got coconut and ice coconut and ice cream sugar coconut juice blend and then you put it in the blender special ice cream yep thank you it's really nice guys okay, thank okay. you That is so delicious. It's so refreshing, but it's not overly sweet. So it's perfect. Exactly how I like it. That is delicious. I'm gonna get like 16 of them. It's got such like oh chunks of um, chunks of coconut. The best milkshake I've ever had. What's it out of 10? I can't even say number like a triple trillion billion. Out of 10? Mm -hmm. A billion out of 10. That's pretty good then. So good. This Beach buggies, how cool. Alright, well, we've already gone on an ATV. Alright, 
so it's just a random Wednesday night and we thought we'd go and explore where we are. Where are we? We're in Klebang Beach. Yeah. And it's Ramadan at the moment and so we didn't know this but the local people here, all of the Islamic people, they come together and they have like a mini market which is what they call a bazaar and it's all the local people, their shops, their food, little outlets and everything like that. Um, and that's why we're riding the four wheelers over there as well. We've just found a fireworks shop. And here we have it. We're here at the fireworks stand. Take your pick. Oh, we're going to this rocket launcher. Look at those. Are they the Chinese firecrackers? These do them that just light, light, like In the light on a pole. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah these now we, we can play this, we can light it. We can do? Police, no come? No, no, no. no? I have permit. Oh, you have permit? Okay. Alright, there's evidence that this guy's got a permit and it's so we're not gonna get in trouble if we start lighting fireworks. As you can see I'm a bit apprehensive about letting fireworks go in public, but it's just where we're from, eh? In Australia yeah. they'll just like the Make police will rescue on tape. They'll rescue. We're staying. Alright, cool, it's on camera. We got proof. <laughs> Alright, let's go nuts. One of these? Yeah, this one done. Uh, what about one of them? You throw on the ground. Ah. What are these ones? Do? This one, eh? What do you look like? So you throw it on the ground? Whee! <laughs> but hey, we're not allowed to throw them at each other. Promise? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah? Just, you hold it there Wait, like that. Can we do this one? Thank you very much. Yeah. Wait. Got a full bag of fireworks right here. So that, what does that cost? That costs 30 bucks for a full bag of fireworks. Yeah, we're gonna celebrate. Your turn. Go. How do you can? Maybe do two hands. Two hands. That's it. Light the green bit. All right, get back. Well done, man. <laughs> no. You did it, Owls. Well done. Kind of bent me, but that was sick. <laughs> Eels, what are you doing, man? Lighting a firework. Lighting a firework. All right, go, go, go. All right, go. go. Oh. <laughs> right, Tyler's turn. Lighten his first firework. Is it? <laughs> Bit of fun or what? That's so fun. All right, it's Mummy's go. I can't believe Mum's lighting fireworks. Oh, I'm really nervous. Go, 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 go. Yeah! Look, look, look. Look. Was that fun, Mum? Yeah. How good was that? Pretty exciting, actually. Told ya. So you don't tell us. All right, go. Ready? So there'd be more than 100 in here. Sure. There'd be about 200. Go. This is getting real now. We hung it from this random thing on the beach. Go, go. Run! 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 We should definitely get more. Oh, I'm gonna waste all my money on this. Where's the rest? Right. Hold on. I only got two. Uh, happy Ramadan! So, what are you doing here? The kids don't know I've got these. These are the ones you throw at naughty kids. So when they're really like giving you the shits, you just get the fireworks and you just throw it at their feet. What are you doing? Yes? We put the 
The next day. Good morning, our road trip through Malaysia continues. So we've just left Malacca and we're now on our way to Rawa Island, which is the Maldives of Malaysia apparently. So we're so excited, the weather's beautiful and it should be a great time. It's a three hour drive across from Malacca to Mersey, which is the jetty where you get the boat across to Rawa Island. So from now we've driven from the extreme north of Malaysia. Uh, well, we went as far as Penang and we've driven all the way down to uh, Malacca and then we're going from Malacca to the extreme eastern side of the country to Mersing, getting on a boat and then heading to Rawa Island and then we're going to drive all the way down to the very southern tip of Johor where we'll then make our entrance into Singapore. Driving along on this road in Australia, you know, you're so used to seeing kangaroo signs and emu signs because of frequent crossings, wombats and stuff like that. And we think nothing of it, right? But you, then you wonder, you know, tourists must come through and go, oh my God, kangaroos are going to cross the road. We just saw elephant signs, which means elephants cross and frequent these areas and cross these roads. Can you imagine if we're driving along and you see a herd of elephants crossing the road? That would like be epic, absolutely epic. So I hope that happens, but I doubt it. But that'd be unreal. That's so cool, elephants crossing. So just passing through another sign and it looks like an anteater, I think. So that must just be another common animal in this part of the world. If you know what that animal is, let us know in the comments because we're intrigued. Haven't seen that before in Australia. So we've just arrived at the Mersing Ferry where we're gonna go across to Rawa Island. Now this is water. This is what we're looking for, right here. Sorry Malaysia, but we didn't see any of that anywhere, even in Penang. But this, this is, this is cool. And I think we're staying in one of them. So that is epic. Restaurant. So this is called Rawa Island, R-A-W-A. I'm sure the kids are really gonna love this water slope. So as you can see, these like beach chalets are just right on the beach. Have a look at that. We really didn't have any expectations. All we knew was that there was enough beds for us all. They look comfy, it's super clean. We just thought, because Gemma's gonna start twitching because of the floors, there's gonna be sand coming in and out. But it's just not that vibe at all. It's truly a beach vibe. All the beds look super comfy, it's super clean, it's unreal. And awesome fans, we're worried about how cool we're gonna be, but this whole island runs off two generators, 24 seven. So plenty of power, plenty of aircon, plenty of fans, come through. So much space for a family. Like we're a big family, our boys are a bit older, but all the beds are spaced out. And it's not like we're going to be in here. The beauty of this island is out there. All the water sports, the slides on the pier that you see. We love camping as Australians. We spend most of our time, like our holidays, camping outdoors, doing this sort of stuff. And this is like luxury right on the beach. Like we don't even, there's not many places that you've got this at home where we are. So this is so cool. Hot water, fresh showers. We live right on the beach. It's, um... It's super clean, like considering it's literally on the sand. It is so clean and it's just, it's gorgeous. And I can't wait to wake up to these views every morning. Cuddle 
recording these crystal clear waters. Kids are snorkeling. What a way to spend a Monday Arvo. Hello. <laughs> you see any fish? Yeah, heaps. I see that they can't fish nest. Really? Yeah. See, I did empty boy. Look at the bird. Seen so many Debo's in my life. how crystal clear this water is. You don't even need snorkels. You can just get a paddle board and look down. We just did snorkeling it was awesome. I've never seen so much clownfish and it was awesome. There was so much fish, so much coral, sea urchins. So cool. You can even do canoeing by the water sports. So there's so much to do here. We went right around, so the reef's right around the edge. And the real good stuff's like right by the pier. You go right under the pier and there's just thousands of fish everywhere. It's all inclusive, so no extra money to do any kind of water sports that you want to do. Snorkeling, paddle boarding, canoeing, water slides over there. That's a winner with the kids. Amazing day here, day one. We're about to head into the restaurant and have our first meal. This is dinner on night one. It's gonna be amazing. There's such a massive spread. part of the day. So we've got pasta, we've got sweet and sour fish, we've got delicious homemade sourdough bread, we've got chicken, we've got roast potatoes, we've got salad, what else? We've got some veggies, rice. rice. The variety is amazing and it's just so tasty and wholesome and so good and the best part is our feet are in the sand. What a way to wake up and come out and just look at this. Day two on this absolute magical place. This is Rowa Island. It's located 25 minutes from the port of Mersing. It's a short boat ride, so you don't have to worry about travel sickness or the kids or anything like that. Easy to get to. This is Alang's Resort. Have you seen the Blue Lagoon movie back in the 80s? This is it. It's like your own little paradise away from civilization, but without the survival skills. You've got chef prepared meals, 
All the meals are inclusive, breakfast, lunch and dinner. It is absolutely beautiful. So there are two resorts on this island. We've chosen to stay at Langs, and the main reason is that there's only 12 rooms in this whole entire place. So you really feel like you're the only ones, you've escaped the crowds, and you can just got this whole place to yourself. The prices you'll see on the website, which we'll link in the description below, they're for two nights, so it's a two night, three day minimum stay. So factor that in when you're looking at pricing. So you've got a few different accommodation options here. You've got your small A-frames, then you've got the large A-frame, and then you've got uh, the beach house and the jungle house, which is at the back there. So the small A-frames, obviously, for smaller groups, and then you've got your large A-frames, which are um, great for bigger groups or family of five like us. That's another great thing about this island. It's very hard to come across places that can accommodate the five of us. So which this place easily does with a few different options as well. So amazing value and it just ticks all the boxes for us. I woke up this morning a couple of steps away and I was at breakfast with a coffee waiting for me. So it does not get any better. What are you up to my man? Mm. Just chilling? Yeah. You look relaxed. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, we're going to climb the top of this mountain and have a look at the view, the 360 degree view. It's a nice walking trail, so I'll give you a look. Spot of a little peacock over here. Oh, two. Lead the way, boss. Alright. Alright. Right, here we go. Yeah. break that was an intense first part it was it's literally been five minutes but it was intense it was a big climb with a lot of steps steep. like look how high we are and it's literally only taken like five minutes so yeah. it's like uphill and we should probably mention it's what do you think the temperature is about 30 so hot 38 yeah <laughs> about 35 degrees and it's still sunny <laughs> the highest point of Rawa Island. The views are amazing. So you can just see all the surrounding islands, the mainland. So I thought it was going to take a little bit longer, but that was probably about 10 minutes. Pretty easy. Going for a walk across to the little private beach they've got here. Water, it's like a swimming pool. It's just so crystal clear. Waking up to that will never ever get old, I'll tell you what, it is today's checkout day. Unfortunately, it's our last day here. We were super grateful to have experienced this place in Malaysia. Um, it was like a last minute thing, the highlight of our, yeah. of our stay to be honest. I feel like it's Malaysia's like top jewel. hidden, hidden yeah. secret. Yeah, it's a jewel, really. It's all the photos, obviously videos and everything before we came, but from the second we got off that boat, it just exceeded our expectations, yep. like more so than what we could have ever imagined from what we researched. So and nothing, nothing skipped a beat, like the yeah. food, the service, the staff, the you know the facility, yeah, accommodation, the, the kids, facilities. I feel like the kids are just at the most perfect age, where the, for the entire time they've just been off, you know, jumping off the jetty, doing the water slides, the water sports. We just haven't seen them. <laughs> and. Do you know how you can really tell when you have kids, they haven't played their iPad for yeah. any more than five minutes in three days. Yeah. Like five minutes of iPad in three days. Totally forgotten about. So that's that's epic. And another tip, right? Our departure on the vessel, the ferry heading back to the mainland is not till 2 p.m. because of the tides. But do you know they feed you breakfast and lunch right up to the point of your departure. The service just goes right through to the point that you step on the beach and off the beach onto the boat. So amazing. My plate's full again, 
so I've eaten so much. This is our checkout meal. So we're actually on the boat um, back across to the mainland at 2 p.m. and they've provided us with a full buffet lunch before we depart. So it's incredible. This is absolutely amazing food. I'm gonna miss this island. Food, hey. I love the food. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you. You're awesome. Thank you. 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 Th